This is Kyle Martin Paintings. Oh, welcome back for another landscape painting video. I came out here on Valentine's Day with Corbin and my daughter Violet to take some photographs. Standing out here right next to somebody's grandpa's old tractor, which has just been parked out here outside the corn crib. I loved the light that was happening right at 5 o'clock p.m. And so I'm here now at 3 o'clock in the afternoon so I can try and capture the light that's going to be falling onto this old tractor. It's February and it's winter. You can see on my ride out here this afternoon all the fields are bare and there's some ice formed in the creeks and, and on the Baraboo River. You can see there's some snow and ice in the shadows that are being cast from these pine trees. And even though there's a breeze in the air, it feels a little bit warmer this afternoon. Maybe it's the sunshine, maybe it's, I guess, whenever the temperatures creep up into the 30s, it seems manageable to be outside. And I want to take advantage of it, so I'm going to get a painting started of this old tractor. I think I'm going to work on a 12 inch by 12 inch panel this afternoon. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get my thing set up. sketchbook at home so I just taped a little folded piece of paper that I had onto a spare panel and did a grayscale sketch. Whether you believe in the school of thought that says you should make a sketch or if you don't, um, the light is fading fast and I think this sketch is going to be worth it because now that I know the value that I'm going to make, I'll be able to do so very quickly and I have a plan value palette here needs to be cleaned off but i'm just going to choose a value for instance this background shed says it's a value two so i'm just going to mix a value square here that corresponds with the value that i observed in the scene and i'm going to mix my colors uh, this value sketch is going to speed up the process and it's going to be great for helping me to get this painting started <laughs> Okay, I have my basic colors mixed here on the palette. These are some of the colors that I'm seeing on the rusty tractor. Up here we have a couple of colors that are going to make up that shed that's behind the tractor. There's some worn out barn boards which are kind of this gray, green, gold color. And then here's the red paint on the barn boards. We have the grass that the tractor is sitting on. Here's some mid-tone values that I noticed on the wheels. And finally, the deep dark shadow. It's not every color I'm going to be using, but I think that it's time to get started on the painting surface. to see the painting happening you see that this painting is coming to life right now we're at 426 right now and that perfect light is about a half hour away so i'm going to keep refining this painting up until the moment that that perfect light is here at five o'clock the light is going to be perfect so i'm going to keep working this painting until then kind of working on painting all the different shades of rust that are happening on this tractor. I'm stepping back and I'm observing it while looking through my mirror. 
So I'm looking at it backwards and I'm just going to, for the next 20 minutes or so, keep refining this painting and getting it to a place where I can really make it sing when those last rays of light dance across the tractor. I'm enjoying myself out here this afternoon. I'm kind of letting my intuition guide me. I think it's time now to really start to fly on this painting and to start to paint some of the true colors that I'm seeing up there. I think it's in a good place for me to do that. It's about 15 minutes until that perfect light is here. So I'm going to start to paint as quickly as I can to modify a lot of the colors that I have on the panel. <laughs> light that's happening on the painting on the tractor right now and I turn my painting surface just so I don't have glare on it. And what I'm doing now is I'm stepping back about 15 feet and I'm observing anything that looks uh, like it needs to be corrected and if it can read at a distance yeah I'm not going to have every little detail that's present um, on the subject but uh, if i can get it to read from a distance and so i have the big shapes and colors correct i'll be happy so right now i'm observing just this little there's this little piece of the combination of the dust and the rust that's on the tractor but it's also some of the sky color is shining down and there's this glowing bit of violet mixed with orange. Even though I'm at the end of my painting session, I'm being careful to keep my brushes clean as I place that mark there. Okay, now I'm going to step back again. I'm doing this dance to resolve the painting. And that light is just fading away at this point. It's the end of a beautiful Sunday. It's the end of the weekend. It was my birthday weekend. We had Valentine's Day earlier in the week. I'm just taking in these last few rays of light that are visible. Some beautiful stuff happening. So many cool colors in contrast to the warmer colors, there's this little bit of turquoise behind the tractor here. Some light back into the shadow here. There's some light being kicked up from that muffler that's bouncing around in the shadow. Anyway, that's some of the stuff that I'm doing right now. One last look at our subject matter. Oh, is that, is that ever beautiful? That's some perfect light. Well, I took the painting home and I put it on a shelf in my bathroom to dry. And the cat knocked the painting off of the shelf and it looked to me like the cat actually laid in the painting because there was cat hair in the painting. So it kind of smeared the painting in some areas and I thought I had something nice so I just brought it back out and I decided to work on it for one more afternoon. It's probably only going to take me an hour to fix it or something like that but I think I'll be better off for coming back and retouching this painting. So let's get into it.
I'm gonna say that this painting is done. I had a great time out here. I think I accomplished what I wanted to do. I think I'm better off for coming out, taking my time, and adding some more color shifts into this painting. Um, but the light is perfect right now, so I'm gonna drive around and hopefully find my next painting subject. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.